it's Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on the Kessel A360X Refugium Life. And I gotta say, it's got some really convenient features that I didn't even know I'd want in a Refugium Life. I'm glad they're there. Growing a big old ball of Kato in your sump is one of the staple ways reefers deal with excess nutrients like nitrate and phosphate. And it's actually one of my favorite methods of nutrient removal. The thing is, Kato can only uptake these nutrients as efficiently as it can photosynthesize and grow. Meaning in order for my Kato to be able to outcompete nuisance algae in a well-lit display tank, I need to provide comparable lighting to my Kato. It's also important to remember a refugium with Kato is a tunable filter, meaning adjusting the amount of light the Kato gets is an easy way to achieve the right amount of nutrient uptake from the system. Not too much, not too little, which is important because Kato can sometimes work at reducing nutrients too well, and the symbiotic algae inside of coral tissue is gonna need some amount of these nutrients in order to thrive. It's no surprise that a leader in the global lighting industry like Kessel has come out with one of the most versatile refugium lights that I've personally seen to date, Kessel has taken their new A360X platform and optimized it for use over refugiums by utilizing their proven horticulture spectrum with diodes specifically chosen to match the peaks for photosynthesis in plants and also includes a narrow beam reflector to cut down on light spill into the sump. So I only grow algae in the fuge where I want it and not all over my other equipment where I don't want it. More maintenance. In the box, you'll find the A360X refugium with that narrow beam reflector pre-installed the power adapter, the AC adapter cable, the DC extension cable, the hanging ring, metal screw hooks, and hanging brackets. The substantial 90 watt power consumption is spread out over several well thought out channels tailored to growing soft coral and macroalgae in the refugium and also includes two for convenience that I think are super smart. The blue channel has peaks at 400, 440, and 460 nanometers and is best for refugiums that include fast growing soft corals like Xenia. The grow channel has all of the peaks of the blue spectrum but also includes a peak at 660 nanometers. This channel is best for refugiums growing Kato and other macroalgae so most of us out there will stick close to this spectrum. The Bloom channel removes more of the blue spectrum and emphasizes the red and is optimized for use with flowering plants. The red channel removes all of the blue spectrum and leaves you with just that 660 peaks synonymous with root growth and overall plant productivity. Now, those two channels I was talking about that are really convenient and smart, Kessel included a daylight mode which is there for doing maintenance around your sump, which is a really clever idea since staring at a blurple light can be a little hard on the old peepers. It's also pretty convenient to have the ability to add daylight over the sump since not many of the aquarium stands come with their own lighting. And being able to see clearly while you're cleaning up down there is super helpful. And once you take the reflector off, you should have lots of light to work with. When you're done, slap that magnetic reflector back on and flip back over to grow. There's also a green channel similar to the white channel. It's only accessible through the Kessel app and with the use of a K-Link Wi-Fi dongle, but essentially it allows you to observe what's going on in your refugium without accidentally activating the photosynthesis in your macroalgae since plants largely reflect green light. And that gives you a little bit of light to work with under the stand without, you know, causing your, your macroalgae to think it's daytime when it's not. Silly macroalgae. The spectrum and intensity are easily controlled with knobs on the top of the light, so you can dial in the light intensity to your preferred nutrient export. Keeps things simple, that way there's no need for an app on your phone, or if you're really techy like me and you wanna have access to all of the available control options through the Kessel app, you can slap on one of the K-Link Wi-Fi dongles. The app allows you to set up a complete schedule for your refugium light, whether you use a preset or customized one yourself, eliminating that need for a separate timer and also providing access to acclimation mode, which is a great way to gently acclimate the Kato to the high output fixture with minimal risk of burning it. Sure, I could probably do it manually over a couple of weeks, but I would much rather just set it and forget it and know that it's being taken care of. When it comes to mounting options, it's compatible with all the same hardware as the other 360X lights, giving you lots of flexibility, especially since the light is so tiny for a 90 watt fixture and will fit just about anywhere, even if space is an issue. So if the included mounting hardware isn't exactly your style or just doesn't work for your setup, you can always go ahead and use a mounting arm or the gooseneck like the one I've got here. 
Personally, I'd love to see Kessel make an additional optic for this light, maybe to bring that beam angle down even further to 18 by 18 or 12 by 12 inches. So those of us with smaller refugiums mitigate some more of that light spill. It'd also be really cool to just be able to mount the light up a little bit higher so it's easier to do maintenance under when it comes time to clean things up. I also would have liked to be able to use the app to program schedules or access the green channel without having to purchase a Wi-Fi dongle separately. But anyone already using Kessel lights on their display tank with the K-Link Wi-Fi dongle are gonna have complete wire wireless control of their refugium light right out of the box in the exact same app as their other lights, which is actually a really nice bonus. The price tag's also on par with their A360X Tuna Blue, which makes it one of the more pricey refugium light options out there. But for anybody who relies heavily on Kato for nutrient export, this is an excellent option to get the exact spectrum you need in the right intensity to outcompete those very bright lights on your display tank. Kessel has really put a lot of thought into this refugium light and I think it shows. Again, I love the addition of the white and green lighting options for general viewing under the stand. That's just smart. Having the right refugium light can help with more than just nutrient removal. So if you wanna take your Kato to the next level, check out this video where Ryan breaks it down for you.